yeah, let's talk about mobile development also here in Berlin. Yes, uh, mobile development uh, is also a trend here in Berlin. Uh, when one of the observation that I also uh, can see here in the marketing, uh, it's between Android uh, ecosystem and also iOS ecosystem. And one of the things that I've been observing here, and this is something that you also need to be aware in this career, is uh, the movement from at, on the Android side from Java to Kotlin as a language and also on the iOS side from uh, Objective-C to Swift. And uh, yeah, you can ask me, should I learn Java or should I learn Kotlin? And should I learn Objective-C or should I learn Swift? It's always good to know everything, of course, uh, at least uh, the, the main points of the language. But if you want to begin your career uh, on the Android side, I would say go and focus on Kotlin itself. Uh, it's a language that also runs on top of uh, JVM and uh, it's uh, a language that uh, it's, it's more used today and can also be used for backend and frontend and other things. But if you go for Android developer, try to learn Kotlin. And the same for iOS. Uh, Objective-C is uh, it's difficult to, to read. It's a, a, a different language that you are uh, uh, used to. Uh, but I believe that uh, Swift is a language that is easier to read. There are some other aspects that are closer to other programming languages that we have here. So I would focus also on iOS. Uh, another point is don't focus on the language, mainly for startups here in, the, in Berlin, even if it's startups in the beginning of the career or also uh, startups uh, which are uh, in a growth moment, uh, both of them you need to understand about product and UX designer. So uh, those topics, uh, UX design and product entrepreneurship are topics that you need to combine with your engineering skills and also read about them and combine them with the engineering skills of Kotlin and Swift and this is uh, a good uh, target for your career, that's it.